ยังรู้สึกจงเนี่ยสิ่งที่เนี่ยจะรู้เนี่ยรู้สารในตัวรู้ติดกับจู่ว่าเสวะพักกับยีกูอยากบอกเลยว่าสุดสุดเนี่ยกูจะเป็นมุสัยรู้อ่าเส้นดียาลูกคิดก็บอกเนี่ยอยู่หลอชีตัวไอ้ตัวเขา representative ยอดจ่อเปล่าจงบีเชื่อจากเนี่ยยอดจ่อเดอะบล็อกเกอร์พาร์ทเซนต์มินิสโตร์ตาฮัตเตอร์เฮียจงลิจ่าต่อการเนี่ยกูจะเป็นมุสัยเส้นดีท่าเดียวรู้จึงมัวเทวีดิจ่าเนี่ยที่หลอชีตัวว่าจะได้หนุ่ยยอดจ่อหนุ่ยเส้นดีจงเชื่อตรงจิ๊กก็เคยรับไปเจอเนี่ยจิ vì lý do các thứ gì xe, nhiều loại xe tư với từ à, rất là tiêu nhiều loại xe, nhiều nhiều đồ à, đi xe block chuẩn bị nó nhiều đi chơi thế. Yeah, anh biết là chỉ nói mà bên lưu district nó nè, à, mỗi tuần này nhiều hồ lưu họ có xin nó đi cầu y hương rồi, and so lưu district nó cũng change a lot since lưu cầu y hương rồi nè. Okay, it's time that mỗi tuần này đi hồ ở ít tuần ít tuần mong là kia đó lưu district nó, you đi lấy bộ à, nhà ba lưu district đi chơi nè. Call reason who came ma you got to live through call experience. Ke you ba nhớ được khó xin nữa. You should chop both make the decision. Nhớ ba bây giờ nên nghe lại bên nè. Bây giờ nên du học. Bây giờ mong. Bây giờ du. Bây giờ mẹ nè. So this is very important. Tao mới từ representative. Ít tao tao cho tay mẹ nó. Tao tao cho issue. Bây giờ đi ba tao bây giờ district. Có họ phía có nhiều lo sĩ từ con nó nè. Nhớ trong đi chơi thế. À mi khó thế mà cú sa ba cú sa. Gong do big job, big job constituents, big job voters. Na, a country like your solutions, your party. Na, that's what Gusa wanna. Guing Guo, how he really know little Ji Xiong. Guba elect Susan Pa, Guba elect Dai Tao Le. Get Guing Bong, how he learn young to Ning. Na, Guing Bong the big job regular people, big more job solutions, job job issues. They big ball every single day. And so the good care like the Guing Kasi na ma Guing Yan Da big job community, take your solutions, do big job issues. So I build the community. That's why I'm running. That's what I want to do and win this seat. When I was in the house, I was in the house. 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 So, go go down to Mika. Go to do go home. Ta ma le sa yoi lu community center. Go to na to celebrate big your cultures. And the reason why le sa yo ma si to na na to to mo. The North Zhou Zhou Yali Minneapolis Zhou Zhou Yali Saint Paul na a big more ilu community center to celebrate and talk your culture. Yong the na Gusan Tianye la ba wai lu chei na do big yo do big yo entire Ning Du Hou to to celebrate. Yeah. Yong the that Yong the that jia the broken broken part na bao do the con yong yong con na mon do hoan ning yong con na na chi mong se mo na do hai ning yong con na yi ko de ko gan chou de yi ko na ko ko sa ko chu shi de ju lam bei sing yong con na e kie lo lai de yong li jia. Yeah, I mean it's really had the ability to, you know, reclaim big your government. Had the ability to both had the doing and show the Lucy, no na. Uh, you do doing your back with Donna. Do you you look you show na? Do you just do a lot of big your home there, big your big thing. Uh, just show both had the doing and your whole representative seat, no. You only do na. It's a good stand up, like to build with the community and buy everybody and make sure that um, you know. Big yo, big yo issues are like really taken care of, and so I really want to be able to build like a, a strong, like what I call a district assembly. A little district assembly, na. Go ya kill ning don jo ku ta go be ko create your laws, na. I believe the body ya ba be lia, yeah. Ya lo la ya ya ko ke jai de ko ko sa de ko ya chu shi zhou la me bei sheng ya ko na ya ko yin zhou na. Your your laws, yeah. So that she now could say work on call a be who are affordable housing, because you know, come on, Sana, be more your law, na. Can can you 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 can Right, this is your your luce. Ma, it's very expensive, right? And so, how do we make sure that your lawyer go your lay luce? How do we make sure that big your law na and your whole the your the the no yeah the whole whole luce do be ah? How do we make sure that the your your the luce do he na right? And so, ah, the big your law your college student that you know na you can share that do newspaper na go about the do college student na go college that this she the them you just more young na. Right, and so that's a problem, and so Gusan Tia call law, see your policies, and make sure they pick your law, they pick your law, they pick your in the middle, uh, have housing, stable housing. They go, you go to more luce, na, go your, go your focus on halu, go your focus on education, like yeah, right. So Gusan Tia call, make sure that everybody has a home is very very important. Yeah. One one day one day, just need to be patient, you know. 
ตัวเตยาเทลเมกกาจิเซชั่นสิจิจองตะเปนาเอเบยจิงจอกาเตเดยอยตุนนิงเฮาอีตุนนิทินยอคอดมินิสเตรชั่นเดชิยอเปตั
不确定，那就由他去做做，搁他做搁好看评论。一个月还得交多交廿几百，剩下了他家里里水不落装备，好听啊 ，BMG， 有对 BMG 做好建材了，就是，也那几个人啥都问题没退休那么早的，六个一年都有收好费了啦。嗯哼 ，Yeah， I mean， 个啥的，嗯，啥人呀 ，like。比啲我好多啲叫，路路路 country 嗱啲嚟，比叫落 block 叫香港，誒，但係我買咁多比叫捧塔嘛，嚟啲我好 Brooklyn party Brooklyn center 嚟嚟知道夠香啦。And it's time 係點我啲對方嚟企喺 represent 路 district 嗱，只要係啲嚟到海南我知道，啲是好多啲嘛，對你誒有誒冇叫 experience 嘅嚟用啦。就你拜年，就你做呢，你啲人叫改做完啦，你啲要报 make 咗 decision， 仲要包要出啦，叫你要 leave 或者个 blow up， 俾要住晒，同你诶有冇啊 ？You know the courage， 即系冇 call determination， 诶要要 be able to walk alone， 就咪讲要 the capital 啦。And so that should not be a good need by Bomba. New more could do so don't know. Your dochi e based on all, chi bay chi all, ni hu gu, ni text gu de new could do cell phone kya. To go high now ma, to go hello ma, go in what it dear, ki go in chi chai de, ni more chi la ni hu gu, ni text gu, go bay ta she, you know, your Bomba e kya lu yi li fati go blow, ki bottle Cindy Yang, go in wo ha ko hello non day hing le, go in elect Dai Ta le, go in elect Susan Pa le, ki go in I am ready for this. Position. Okay, what's your name? Your name is Jinya Taba Tajay Lusa. Uh,那个他,by,personal,sometimes,那个他,都,都,那个他,所以,一,这个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,个,
เียก่อนมาตบไปแล้วมันไปเสร็ยอดของรถพยาบาลเที่ยวเอ่อ my name is c z Goya I'm here with my wife today um and a few other people that are helping us to run I'm running for school board district 279 Osseo school district I am a math teacher a 10 year math teacher right up the street here at Brooklyn Center High School where I've been teaching for the past six years calculus and algebra too uh, beyond that um, I also help with a trio and upper bound program for first generation students at uh, Hennepin Technical College been doing that for the last five years. Um, we've also managed to sit uh, with the uh, college board to rewrite the SAT math portion and the Acupress math portion. So we know what we're talking about. Um, I come to this campaign because I am sick and tired of sitting down on the sidelines and seeing our students, students of color, immigrant students, go to schools um, with limited resources. So take for example, in the school district there are three high schools. Uh, Park Center, which is in uh, Brooklyn Park, we serve a lot of immigrants and, 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 and poor whites, and, 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 and also in Maple Grove. Just looking at their staffs from 2017, um, if you look across the district, in Maple Grove, just for math, MCA, we have been told that in, uh, Maple Grove was at 66%. Achievement beyond the uh, state, it still was at 59%. If you go down to Park Center in the same thing, Park Center is at 30%. 30%. If you do the science, right, you go down to science, Maple Grove is at 76% in science. The state was at 54%. Park Center was at 32%. So here's the kicker. Look at AP scholars. In uh, Maple Grove, they had 76 AP scholars last year. That's good. In Austin, they have 25 AP scholars. Somebody wants to guess how many AP scholars came from uh, Park Center? Two. Two. This is inherently unfair. We are tired of having the uh, zip code in which our students live to terminate their outcome and the quality of education they get. We can claim to have one school district with different outcomes based on which neighborhood the schools are in. And I think we we want to bring an immigrant perspective, we want to bring a minority perspective, and I think we are uniquely qualified to change the board. So I, I'm getting in a way so that we can be able to sit back and look at the curriculum, make sure whatever curriculum they're teaching our students, also dignify who we are as a people so that our kids can see themselves in the curriculum. I teach math every day. I talk to my kids about the, the, uh, the, the math of the, of the Aztec, the math of the Inca, the math of all these people, the math of the Africans, right? So we need people on the table that will talk about our issues and that will be able to diversify the world. So I'm running because we no longer want to be sideline cynics. We want to be involved critics. Um, so most people would expect that when she's running some, uh, for campaign that I would show up to support her, but I will just tell you that I do not support her just because she gave my campaign. That's not the reason why. I support her because she and I have shared values. I know what a hard worker she is. I know that she works for the people. She understands the people in this area. She understands what our struggles are. Some of you guys may see this, but I've got uh, paint all over my nails. That's because I'm trying to remodel my house. It's an old home. And like I often talk about the struggles of regular people like us that we go through between, you know, working full time, having a family, young kids like mine, and then still being uh, involved in our community, in our city. And so, you know, we struggle, we have our struggles, our own battles that we go through. And even my battles of trying to make it here tonight because I'm painting my house and I stop in the middle to come here. But she understands those struggles of real people like us. She understands that I as a mom have to find childcare for my kids so I can work. She understands that Real people have real everyday struggles and she's going to advocate for us at the state level. And that's why I support her. And that's why I believe that she'd be a fantastic representative for our district. She'd be fantastic at the state house. 
and um, I would not have a doubt that she will do a great job advocating for the things that we care about. One thing I really appreciate about her, and I appreciate about people like uh, Senator Chris Keaton, who is also here tonight, is that they may not share our own struggles or our own stories, but they're always willing to listen. Because we may not all have the same stories and experiences, but we need people who represent us to listen to our struggles and our battles and where we come from and our experience and take that to the Capitol. And that's someone like Senator Chris Eaton, someone like Cindy that will do for us. And that's why I support her. So I hope that you guys would join me in supporting her for the State House. also quickly that my kids couldn't be here but they're her number one fan and they've been <laughs> they to her parade and they promise they're going to go door knocking with me for her so uh, I want to tell you things that my kids love you and you're going to work for their future so thank you so uh, good evening Good evening, my name is Marty Zhang. I am a school board member in St. Paul. And I'm also fortunate to be uh, good friends with Cindy. Uh, Cindy, who is a brave and courageous individual. And so, uh, you know, I want to share that uh, the reason why I decided to run for school board um, is because we, we live in scary times right now um, when regular people like you and me, we're under attack. Families are separated, our Muslim brothers and sisters are banned, discriminated against because of racism. We have a president and a government who does not care about you and me, our children, our children's education, and our economic livelihood and advancement. And we have a, gov a government that doesn't care about uplifting people like you and me here in the room. And that's why I decided to run for, um, for my seat. And I know that that's also why Cindy is the best candidate because she understands that struggle as well. And so Cindy and I, we met through community organizing here in Brooklyn Park and on uh, issue campaigns to uplift families. She is also a person who loves a lot and this shows through her work, the work that she does. She is a bold, courageous, resilient, and is a voice that we need to fight for 40 be here. Alongside great leaders like Senator Chris Ian, who is also here, uh, Council Member Susan Pop, who is also here in the room. And so Cindy, I just want to thank you. Thank you for running to be our bold leader who will fight to protect immigrants, to fight for families, to fight for racial equity, to fight for an adequate education for all of our students here in Minnesota, and so much more. I know you're gonna to go to the Minnesota House and kick ass. Yeah. And so Cindy, we need you now. We need you now in the Minnesota State House. We need you there now. You are the hope and the change that we've been waiting for. And so everyone in this room, please tell your neighbors, tell your cousins, tell your friends who lives in 40B to go vote for Cindy. Tomorrow, every day until August 14th, we'll have not only vote one, once, okay? I don't need to, for you to take them every day to the polls. <laughs> you can if you want, you know. My campaign is a lot about opportunity. And when I look at somebody like uh, Cindy, uh, and I imagine what they're gonna do when they get into that position for house, um, you know, there's the campaign aspect of things when you, run for, when you run for office. But then when you get in, you actually have to buckle, buckle down and learn the policy. You have to have a good heart that you're going to do what the people really need you to do. And I know that Sydney has been behind the scenes for so very long, learning the issues, supporting the issues, working on the issues, and just supporting other people. And she never asked for any type of credit. Uh, so I'm extremely excited to have someone like Sydney because we don't have to have the conversation before the conversation with Cindy. Cindy gets where the community is coming from. Uh, she gets the issues. And so you're not going to have to constantly remind her and be fearful. Is she going to follow through on the right thing? So I think that's really what excites me about Cindy because you don't, you don't see that all the time with candidates. Um, but she has an extremely good heart. She's very, very giving. Um, and I'm just very supportive of her. And again, what was it, Sydney for House without a doubt. So yeah. Sydney for House without a doubt, I'm extremely excited to have it come out. I'll keep it brief.
but I really wanted to make this all about Sydney because I think, I think you know, not every candidate who runs has earned the support of the community, uh, and Sydney has really earned the support of the community in a way that, um, without a doubt, I was in her corner even before she ran. So I'm very excited that she's running. Well, thank you all for coming. I can't tell you how excited I am about uh, Cindy's candidacy. She uh, she does understand this district. She knows it's not Minneapolis. She knows that Brooklyn Center is a community up to its own. Uh, 40B has a, a long history of being represented by um, strong Democrats. Uh, she's got big shoes to fill with Deborah Hillstrom who was in that seat for a long time and then city council before that. And I've enjoyed working with Deborah, but I'm really looking forward to working with Cindy. We need um, more women of color in the house. We lost a lot of women from the offices are retiring. So um, I was kind of worried about that, but we have some good candidates and Cindy's one of them. Um, I met Cindy on Susan Pa's campaign, like the rest of and I immediately started talking to her about running for office. And I was like, no, no, I'm not ready. And, and uh, I, I will tell you that there's three of us. Uh, Alyssa Hortman, who is the minority leader in the House, Deborah Hillstrom, who is leading the seat to run for AG, and myself, who all claim to have talked her into running. We all, we all recruited her. We all claim that fame. So, I don't really know who did, only she does, but um, <laughs> that's, a, that's kind of a running joke between Melissa and Deborah and I. Um, but Cindy is one of these people who understands um, what we all go through. I mean, I just came from, uh, I, I was late because I had to wait for my uh, daughter-in-law to pick up her children. I babysit, my husband and I, we watch our grandchildren every day because they can't afford daycare. And so I have a 10-month-old little girl and an 8-year-old grandson that we watch Monday through Friday. And so, you know, I'm full of gunk and I have carrots in my hair. And, you know, it, it's, we're all just regular people. We all have the same issues. We all have health care concerns. We're all concerned about the future of our grandchildren and uh, um, what's going on with our children in the schools and, uh, and, and the fact that all the resources are in Maple Grove is, is appalling. I mean, I'm, that's been a concern of ours for a long time. I don't know if we need to legislatively require them to have um, different districts or I think we're trying again one more time with the election process, but that may need to be a law. Um, the way the legislature works, we do a lot of um, uh, working together. I, you, take, you have to have the same bill coming from the House that comes from the Senate, so they either have to be the same or else you have a conference committee, whatever. So you have to find somebody to carry your bill and be the author in the House when you're in the Senate. And so I'm looking forward to working with Cindy on that because we share so many values and um, we have so many of the same goals for the community. So I just uh, admire her and all of her strength and uh, the organizational abilities. Uh, she is a community organizer, that's for sure. And uh, it's time that we had the young people coming in and so they can get up on these stages if nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> She's right there. <laughs> She's next. Anyway, thank you again and um, I am so honored to have worked with Susan Pa and Cindy and um, Alice and all the other candidates that have got, that are in our community. We are so fortunate. I'm Susan Joy Grohman, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I met Cindy. I was laying in bed, it was about 8.30 at night, and my phone rang, and this woman said, yeah, um, are you going to be going to the the endorsement that's coming up and I said yeah I've got it on my calendar I'm, I'm going to bed and she said okay well my name is Cindy and I'm running for house and I was like whose house are you running <laughs> no I didn't really say that but I, I, I said to her oh okay okay and she said well do you have any questions can you support me and I said okay here's my questions 
what do you think about charter schools and public schools? By the way, I'm a school person. I spent 35 years working as a as a support staff in the Minneapolis public schools. And so I asked her that question as monotone as I could, and she said, oh, there was a time once for charter schools, but now they're kind of taking money away, and it's not working as well. And I said, oh, OK. OK, the other part of my life is I'm really, I'm the vice president of the ESPs the support staff of the Minneapolis Public Schools. And I am horrified with what's happening with unions. And so I said, hey, what do you think about this union stuff? Without saying anything, she said, I'm union strong. I was a negotiator. I was, I was an activist. I'm, all this, I'm union strong. She had me at that. Two days later was the Two days later was the delegate, um, the conference or whatever to endorse. And I went to that and I was like, wow, this woman is something. So I've only known her for a few weeks and I feel like we're best friends. And I can't imagine anybody else that I would want to represent the area that I live in. Um, I was 15 years old when I met Sydney, and the permit test was the only thing on my mind. Sydney was the campaign manager for a councilwoman from Susan Gough, who is now the city councilwoman and the only woman of color on the council. Whether it was door knocking for councilwoman Pa or testifying at a city council meeting, Sydney really pushed me out of my comfort zone and helped me put my passions into action. I'm proud to say that she's my political mentor, and that's why I'm so happy and excited for her to be running for House of Rep. Her running in office is long overdue, and I'm glad she's finally running. Sydney is passionate about making progress in our communities and believes that all of our stories are intertwined and that we can learn from one another. My dad shared a quote with me this morning. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. And Cindy is that way. Without further ado, my hero, Cindy Gates. And I am thrilled to be with you tonight to join you in your support of Cindy in her bid for the Minnesota House of Representatives. fortune to serve in the Minnesota House for 12 years and before that I worked for the Minnesota Nurses Association and I was first for them an organizer and I am still to this day an organizer and the work of organizing is really about connecting us together and bringing our powerful voices to make the change that we believe in and it is a fundamental skill that we must use to build a future that includes all of us and inside the Capitol where Cindy is going to soon be a state representative for this district. With your help, inside that capital are some powerful forces that want to hang on to their power. They do. They want things to stay just as they are. And if we want to build a future that is including all of us, that is powerful about all of us, that reflects us as we are, and assures that our hard work yields you know, our wealth, our prosperity, and the well-being of our communities that we need strong organizers as state representatives. And I am so happy that you are here to support Cindy Yang in her pursuit of that office. We need her in the Minnesota House. I've known her for a while. Our paths keep crossing, and what I see in her is a courageous leader who's willing to fight. And not fight like boxing gloves fight, but fight for us and fight for our future. And I am fortunate to serve in a house that has been slowly inhabited by people who are bringing that same fight. They're young people, women, people of color, 
Woo. indigenous people Woo. who say, I have a rightful place at the table of power. And as a result of that, our politics are changing, the power is shifting, and our opportunity to do the things we need to do to tackle the tough issues, it rests with us. So I'm going to work my tail off to get elected. And I'm going to work very hard to get Cindy Yang elected because we need her in the house. We need her in the house. And so I just want to say thank you for giving me a minute at the mic. Make a commitment to me and to Cindy that you're going to help her get elected with your treasure and your time. Yes? You're going to join us? Right? You're going to make some phone calls? Yeah. You're going to bring your organizers up to the work? Is that right? All right. Let's get this done. Thank you. You know, I thank them, but they don't, they're so behind the scenes, and I have been that person. And so my goal in this campaign is not to only push, you know, folks who are running camp my campaign to the front, but to also build more and more new leaders. That's how I became where I am today. I'm finally on a stage wearing my own t-shirt, and it's because somebody invested in me. Somebody brought them into my campaign and said, you're just not a volunteer, but you're somebody who's going to run for office one day. So that's what my my campaign team is about. And like, look at them today. Look at them. They're smiling. Um, but in addition to that, you're probably wondering who I am and what I'm about. Uh, there's a lot of folks up here who, who have come up here and said very kind words about me, and I and I thank you all so much. Uh, but the reality is that I had to make a decision I can live with. And by saying that I can live with it, meaning Am I going to be able to live with myself based on the decision that I was going to make that night? And I want you guys to know that I made this decision within 48 hours after coming back from Rochester, okay? It was very quick. People usually create what we have now within a year. We did this within a couple of weeks. Um, and what that translates to, what the DFO endorsement translates to, what the labor union endorsement translates to, what everybody came in here and talked to you guys about, about who I am, what it translates to is that we are building a really powerful community. I have stuck my neck out there, I have spent my time, I have committed my life to doing public service, and that is because it's not for my resume, but it's actually because I need to get things done for our community because it's no longer about politics it's about lives this is where we're at and we need to stand up and do something so the decision that i could live with was to make sure that we weren't just sending anybody to the capitol but we were sending someone who could work with folks there like chris like senator chris Eaton has said like this requires a lot of teamwork and so I knew that if I could went up there, I would not only organize the community, but I would organize my colleagues to make sure that we are putting people first and not profit. Right? And you're like, okay, whatever. Politicians say this to continue building. And by the way, we didn't do a whole lot of outreach for this event. This was because there's excitement around putting somebody into this race who is like gonna do stuff. Who, when they run, they take it very seriously and who's gonna use this position of power to bring things to our community. And that's what I'm focused on and that's what I'm going to do. Um, you've probably heard many times, and I won't hold you up any longer, is that my campaign is focused on stories. And you're probably like, why do we need to focus on stories? Because too often, we carry these very traumatizing stories with us that keep us behind. And right now, the main dominant narrative in our political world is about dividing us. And when we share our stories, we actually are a lot more alike than we actually thought we were. So that's why storytelling is so important, and it's also very embedded in our culture. We have to revisit that because only when we can actually come together can we start making sure that policies are serving our needs, that politicians and representation are actually doing the things they need to be doing. Because for a long time, guys, decisions have been made without you. And I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to sit back. I want to be a part of a movement where people are owning and taking over the house and the Capitol because it is your home. So tonight, 
I want to thank you guys all so much for spending the evening with us. It's very sunny and beautiful outside. <laughs> um, it's not. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming. What I tell people at the doors is that I'm just a really messy haired kid who really cares about the community and who wants to do something about it. And I can tell you that I'm not doing this for fun. I'm not doing this to build my resume. I'm doing it because I love it. And I'm doing it because I love my community. And that includes all of you here tonight. Thank you so much. I really appreciate support. There's more food and like, thank you guys so much. Minnesota House Representative Broken Center